What's going on, YouTube? I'm back again with another video for y'all, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to get right into it like we always do. All right. Now, I'm going to be telling y'all in this video a starter business bank account that, um, you know, new LLC owners should get. All right. And it's one main reason or why I'm choosing this one or telling y'all to get this one over you know, maybe a bigger institution. All right. Um, now this institution is Blue Vine. All right. Blue Vine. It's a good, um, you know, business checking account. This is not sponsored at all. I'm just going off personal, <laughs> personal use. All right. Blue Vine is a good business checking account. One, because it's FDIC insured up to, um, it was 250,000. Now it's FDIC insured up to 3 million. All right. Most banks are FDIC insured up to um, 250000 all right? So that's good because, you know, protects you and everything like that. Um, but also, the key thing is because, remember, I, in the beginning of this video, I said new business owners, new LLC owners, right? So chances are new LLC owners don't have, they're just starting the business. So they haven't made that much profit yet, right? So in that case, Blue Vine is a business checking account that does not require you to keep a minimum balance in there. All right. Just, just like um, bigger banks, Chase, Bank of America, stuff like that, they require you to keep a minimum balance in the actual business checking account. Because if you don't keep a minimum balance in there, they're going to start charging you a monthly fee or fees because that you don't, you know, because you don't have the money actually in there. All right. So, um, that's why Blue Vine is is good um, because they don't charge you all the extra fees and stuff like that, and the FDIC insured, and it's just a good starter bank account, right? You want something quick? Go ahead, go go to Blue Vine. They are backed by multiple institutions, but it's mainly Coastal Community Bank. Um, so if you ever have your Blue Vine account, sometimes you'll see it pop up as Coastal Community Bank. Um, that's normal, all right? They're backed by like Coastal Community Bank, and then it's backed by other institutions too as well, but mostly Coastal Community Bank. All right, so that's a good business checking account. I made this video because a lot of people ask me like what bank account they should start with. And there's really no right or wrong answer. It's whatever bank that you want. If you want a bank closer to you, you can do that. If you want an online type of bank, you can do that too as well. Just do, you know, good research and stuff like that. You want, you want to make sure that they're FDIC insured, which mostly every bank is pretty much for the most part but make sure that they fdic insured you know up to like two hundred fifty thousand or higher all right but definitely check out blue vine like i said this is not a sponsored video this is just my personal you know experience and everything like that all right check out blue vine um but that's the end of the video just wanted to give you all that because some people were asking me those questions but that's the end of the video man thank y'all for getting me to 2100 subscribers 2100 subscribers uh, I really do appreciate y'all. We on the road to 10K and even 100K next, man. So thank y'all for tapping in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.